Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we're going to be looking at the dividend payout ratio. The dividend payout ratio is a percentage of earnings or net income paid to the company's shareholders in dividends. The payout ratio shows investors how much of the earnings are going to service the dividend. A more mature company with lower growth prospects will tend to have a higher dividend payout ratio. Excessively high payout ratios can be a warning to investors that the company may be forced to cut its dividend in the near future. Once a payout ratio exceeds 100%, management will be actually cannibalizing the company just to pay the dividend. Typically, management will decrease the dividend at this point if they do not feel the earnings are about to increase. You can see the ratio and the uh, actual calculation for determining the ratio here. Um, let me show you now an example of uh, companies uh, paying a dividend and then look at their payout ratio. Okay, here we are on the Yahoo Finance uh, uh, page for Centerpoint Energy, ticker symbol CNP. Uh, let me get up the tools real quick. <clears throat> you can see that they're paying a dividend of 4.3%. That means they're taking uh, a portion of their earnings here, earnings per share, and they're actually giving it back to investors. Um, this one actually is a utility and they typically pay a higher dividend because they're not a big growth company. Now let's go look at the key statistics right here on the, this uh, particular finance page and, and see what amount or what percentage of the earnings are actually uh, going to service the dividend. And we could do the work right here and just do the math between this number here and this number there. But let's actually go ahead and use the tools. Okay, here we are looking at the key statistics for this particular company, and you can see that the payout ratio right here is 25%. That means 25% of the earnings is going to actually service the dividend. Uh, that's a good thing when you see something like that. You've got plenty of room. Earnings could take a hit, uh, a pretty good size hit, and you still would have no problem uh, servicing that dividend or paying that dividend out. So that's something that you can keep track of uh, and just kind of take a glance every now and then when you're looking at your companies to see if it's um, you know in danger of actually... Uh, losing its dividend or having to cut its dividend. Let's look at another company that doesn't have as good a uh, payout ratio. Okay, here we are now looking at Bank of America. And this one I'm going to look at because it's just staggering. Uh, the, the dividend uh, yield is, of course, a half a percent here. You can see that uh, earnings per share is a penny. And now let's go look at the actual key statistics over here and have a uh, look and see what the payout ratio really is. Okay, here we see the uh, payout ratio for Bank of America is a whopping 400%. At 100%, they're in effect saying that all of the earnings are being paid out in the form of a dividend. At 400%, they're actually cannibalizing the current company to pay a dividend. Now, most of the time when you see something like this, uh, it's a warning that you probably won't even get 400% to that level, but uh, most of the time you see something like that, you're actually getting a warning that uh, management will slash the dividend or do away with it altogether. Uh, sometimes they won't, though. In those cases, management is looking at the company and they believe earnings will be improving uh, in the near future, and therefore they could, they could maintain it for a little while and then just kick in this uh, bigger div uh, bigger earnings later that would just meet the, the payout ratio a lot better. Uh, and that you'll start to see it develop from quarter to quarter. Um, and of course, you know, when you look at earnings like that, there's no guarantee uh, that, you know, their projections are going to work or anything of that nature. And even if you had a low payout ratio, a company could, in fact, say, you know what, we're going to go ahead, management of the company could go ahead and just say, you know what, we're going to go ahead and slash the dividend. And just because you have a low payout ratio doesn't necessarily mean X is going to happen. And just because you have a high payout ratio doesn't necessarily mean that X will happen either. So just keep it in mind. It's just another indicator that you can look at and analyze to get a little more information. You can also watch the payout ratio change over time, uh, whether the dividend is adjusted or the earnings are adjusted um, from, you know, one quarter to the next will uh, alter your payout ratio. If you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. God bless. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.